What's up everyone? I've had a lot of people asking me what my settings are in the past few videos in my comments section. So I thought I decided to make a video about it, showcasing all of my settings, keybinds, and etc. Let's get into it. Alright, so let's head over to options and let's go for display. I'll show my showcase my display settings first. Now my display settings, most of this is default, but I do change a couple of things. Now I do change VSync, which I think it's on triple buffering or adaptive on default but i change it off because having vsync on basically makes a lot of input lag and i don't like that so field of view i also changed this to 90 i really like uh, field of view on 90 because i can see much more of the fight in dominion and 2v2s contrast i changed this to 64 which default is 50 i don't like 50 because i feel like my game's a bit dark and reacting to bashes and everything i feel like it's a bit easier on 64 might just be like placebo but I like it. I feel like it's a bit brighter on 64. All right. Well, let's move over to graphic settings. Now, my graphic settings, I have most of it on low. You can just go over here to quality preset, hit this low, apply changes or dynamic shadows, you know, turn render scaling, and then go to anti-aliasing and then turn this TAA. I like this because it rounds the edges out and makes the game look a whole lot better for not a lot of imp performance impact. All right, so next thing, let's go to key mapping. These are my keybinds. I've had a lot of people ask me what my keybinds are on both Reddit and YouTube comment sections. So a big one is I like dodge on left click. Now I think dodge uh, should be on right click and I think parry should be on left click <clears throat> because right now in high level play, it's a lot harder to react to unblockables than it is to react to bashes. So it's, more important that you have your fastest reaction which is your left click your index finger having that on uh, parry is probably better but i just haven't gotten around to changing it yet now since light attack is usually on le uh, left click by default then i change this to side mouse button it doesn't interfere with anything and it's a pretty good bind heavy attack i had this is default guard break now this is on scroll wheel and i hate this bind on scroll wheel so i changed this to spacebar just to make it a bit easier. And if you change that to spacebar, I also change cycle target to Q because I have my thumb on spacebar because that's my guard break button. I use that for bashes and you know other things. But if I'm having to put my space, put my thumb uh, oh, to alt to switch targets, it's very, very annoying. So I just go ahead and put that on Q. And there's also an execution bind that's on Q on default. So you can change that to like F or something, anything you're not using in your execution menu. And then when I'm playing BP, I have a flip bind that essentially inputs bulwarks, uh, inputs bulwark, and it like uh, presses light attack to input the flip at the same on the same bind. If you're not playing BP and you're playing somebody like Fubushi or JJ, you can have Sifu stance or other any honestly any full blocks like maybe Armush's full block or something on just a full block stance bind because I feel like C is a bit a bit aids to use. That's all I really changed in my binds. So next let's go over to fight controls tuning. Now this is basically the sensitivity option that FPS games have. Well For Honor has the fight controls tuning or the guard mode sensitivities. Now I like guard stance up stance or uh, guard up stance angle on 115. I feel like this is a nice nice kind of area. Some people use one 106, some people use one like uh max i don't know but a lot of people tend to use either 120 to like 100 that's usually what a lot of people use 
but I like mine on 115. This, I changed Dara down dead zone angle to 0. Guard mode up to 7, and guard mode left and right to 7. I like this. The higher you get it, the faster you can switch your guard, basically. And it's just too fast. Like, you know, any any flick, flick of the mouse, basically. Like, just a tiny movement, and you'll change your guard. It really messes me up a lot of the time, so I just tend to keep this on about 7. But if you want it a bit higher, you can change it to, like, 11 or something. Let's go to user interface. Now on user interface, fight, I change this to minimal because this gets rid of the black bars at the bottom of your screen. And display combat damage and log. I like this because it just helps me out a ton. And quick chat. I turn quick chat off because I don't like the wow, 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 and sorry, 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 you know, all that stuff. I don't like that just kind of uh, cluttering up my screen all the time. So I just turn that off. And that's all I really changed in here. In controls, I changed camera sensitivity to 10, of course, uh, just to make this a bit faster to, to like, uh, you know, if you're unlocking or something, you need to turn around real quick. I like this, but you might want to change that to like 7 or something. Now, a big one is exit guard mode rule. I change this to never, because if you're executing somebody and you're always out of lock, essentially if somebody does like a heavy attack on you, it will like, guarantee their full out of lock punish, which is really annoying. It'll do it anyways on some executions, but on uh, executions that you essentially stay in, in lock, I know Freeze has a video about this, but I just change this to never, because if you just don't do that then sometimes you'll be able to block a follow-up heavy or something which is really nice and that's all i really changed anyways uh yeah thanks for watching